Hey there, L. What's happening? Yeah, all the stars are in the building here in L.A. We got Stephen A., we got Schnee, we got Perk. We also have Adrian Wojnarowski with us right now because there is some news coming out of New Orleans. Woj with the Pelicans. C.J. McCollum has been playing very well there, but what's up with Zion? Well, really some good news for the first time in a while with Zion Williamson and the Pelicans. Pelicans are saying now that there's been improved bone healing on that fractured right foot that Zion Williamson had surgery on in the offseason and has had a couple setbacks on through this year. He left New Orleans. He has been in Portland uh, uh, rehabbing that foot. And now he'll start to take on some more basketball activities, some weight-bearing uh, exercises on that foot. Now there's five weeks left in this Pelican season. They've moved from a 3-16 and start all the way to the 10th spot, which would put him in the play-in. Now, it remains to be seen whether there is a timetable where Zion Williamson can return this season. But listen, this is a team that wants to get into playoffs. They want to get into the playoffs uh, in New Orleans, but they are looking at the long term with Zion Williamson. And so I think it's, uh, it remains to be seen whether we see him on the floor this season. But he and the Pelicans, they're trying to progress now uh, as if uh, perhaps it's possible and to keep rehabbing him uh, and try to get that foot healed and have a Zion Williamson that is healthy for the long term. All right, well, we appreciate that. Uh, since being drafted first overall back in 2019, he's played in just 41% of the Pelicans game since that draft nearly three years ago. Shanae, let me start with you. As it looks at the entire West landscape, who are you expecting to really make some noise here down the stretch? Well, I mean, everyone's fallen in love with the Memphis Grizzlies, so I'm going to pick another team, and I do <laughs> like the Dallas Mavericks. I mean, they made, you know, a change. They got rid of Chris Stapps Porzingis, and you'd wonder, like, you kind of want that guaranteed 20 points per game? Well, actually, everyone sort of stepped up in this small ball type of, you know, everybody shoots threes Mavericks roster. Uh, over the last 12 or so games, the Mavs were number two and made threes. Luka has been killing that step back, and y'all see him dunk? Like, he's dunking on folks these days. So the Dallas Mavericks, most importantly, improved their defense from a whole team perspective. Their offense is knocking down shots. They're one of those teams, you know, Luka has yet to win a playoff series. Maybe this is the year he changes that. Perk? I'm staying on the dark side. <laughs> and, shame Shocking. On, and shame on anybody else that's not coming over with the Memphis Grizzlies. Look, when you look at this team, they cross, they check all the boxes from top to bottom. Yes, they have a superstar in Ja Morant. And they've been doing this without Dylan Brooks. You look at big Steven, Allen, Steven Adams and Jaron Jackson Jr. Mm. anchoring their defense down low. And we don't give enough credit to their bench. Okay, their bench. Tyrus Jones, one of the best uh, backup point guards, if not the best backup PG in the NBA. Melton and Clark coming off the bench and remind you guys about a uh, uh, most improved candidate player in Desmond Baines. And yeah. they're well coached, and they got a, test, a taste of the waters last year in the way that they playing right now. Better watch the hell out. Well, first of all, watch your language. Secondly, and more importantly, <laughs> secondly and more importantly, right? I'm not telling you to watch your language because it's the wrong language. I'm saying don't take my language. Cause damn it, <laughs> you the hell right. Okay? okay, that's what the bottom line is. It's the Memphis Grizzlies. What we've been seeing mm. from the Dallas Cowboys, uh, sorry, Dallas Cowboys, whoa, oh my God, whoa, wrong Dallas show. Mavs over the last few weeks is what we've been seeing from the Memphis Grizzlies all year long. Mm. The reality of the situation is John Morant is a superstar. That's the bottom line. You look at you look at. This kid, Bain, he can ball. Jaron Jackson, he can ball. Just look at them and what they're doing. Look at what they look like when they went against the Golden State Warriors. Think about what's going to be required when you're going against the Warriors or the Suns. We're hopeful that what we saw from Dallas recently, especially, is what we'll see from them come playoff time. We got to give props to Jason Kidd, Nico Harrison, and what them, what them boys have been doing. But what we're seeing from Memphis, it is undeniably special. They could easily end up a number two seed mm. <laughs> in the Western Conference. We can't sniff at that. As an aside, by the way, with Zion Williamson, this is the bottom line. He looks a lot slimmer in that photo <laughs> than in real life. Oh, God. We don't, brother, we don't actually know when him, that photo I, was I need, taken. I need, <laughs> him, I need him back on the court th th so Thursday? he can I'm remind everybody that he's great. Hey, yes. you know what? I'm actually happy to see you today. I know that. Uh-oh. Well, that's well, always check us out. We get way see. more of no Stephen A. coming up no with sorry. NBA <laughs> Countdown a little Be bit later. Be respectful. Another doubleheader here on Wednesday. Be respectful. They kept you on the side. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.